This is an honest review and how to do it yourself lettering.com. Michael and I use this company for our lettering and we were actually really impressed. If you're used to computers, it was really easy to navigate the website. There's really endless options for graphics and different colors of lettering and even uploading your own logos and things like that. We ordered the lettering and literally it came in a few days. The only supplies you'll really need are painter's tape and scissors and a good clean window. Michael found that the instructions were pretty straightforward. After removing the lettering from the box, just make sure it's correct. It's a little simpler if you cut each word out separately. Place the lettering in place by using your tape and then measuring. It might take a few times for this to be perfect. Then you just peel off the underside and keep it in place with the tape. Once you've pulled off some of the backing, you can start rubbing the letters and that actually makes them stick. It doesn't matter if the paper gets a little bit wrinkled. What matters is the letters are sticking really nice. Then give it a final rub down. Okay, this is the fun part. Then you start to slowly peel away and there you have it, voila. Just repeat the process until all of your lettering is done. It took Michael and I about maybe 10 minutes. Okay, so what are you doing, Mike? I am putting on our uh, vinyl lettering. It's the adventuretravelers.com, which is our blog, of course. So we give doityourselflettering.com an honest and solid thumbs up. We're going to unveil. Start unveiling now. Okay. Ooh, this is exciting. Dun, 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 dun. All right, we have an M. <laughs> half an Ooh, M. Oh, that looks good. If you want to try vinyl lettering, visit doityourselflettering.com. The music on this video is available at ccmixer.org. Please like, share, and subscribe to theadventuretravelers.com.